Welcome to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Texans and the Steelers on EA Sports. We're here at the Confluence, the Ohio, the Allegheny, and the Monongahela River. And welcome you to Akershire Stadium on the North Shore of Pittsburgh, the home of the Steelers. The preseason is upon us. So good to be with you, Mike Tirico, with Greg Olson about to embark on that journey that ends with the Super Bowl. Greg, so good to finally have football back on the field. Absolutely, and it doesn't matter if it's preseason, regular season, playoffs. When NFL football's on TV, Mike, it's just better. And I'll tell you what, for these teams and a lot of these young players, this is the start. Just like you said, this is a journey to making the roster, a journey to being there in week one. And for a lot of these teams that have playoff hopes, it seems like small beginnings, but this is where those playoff dreams and ultimately those Super Bowl runs all get their starts. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Texans come out with the rookie of the year from last year in the NFL, C.J. Stroud. He was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State. Greg, a talented quarterback here. Starting all the way back in the spring, Mike, there has been months of preparation building up for this very game. And a lot of the guys on the sideline that have been around for a long time in these preseason games might not feel all that important. But I promise you, to that young guy who's putting an NFL helmet on for the very first time running out of that tunnel, these games go a long way, not only to making this current roster, but trying to make a career out of playing in the NFL. He'll go right back to Mixon. And he'll get this close to the first down. It's a pickup of four, but it still leaves third and short. They'll try and run for this with Mixon. A game there of 11. It's good for a Texan. First down. Over the last couple years, Mike, we've seen the trend in the NFL is that third down has really become a passing down, but not here. Not for this team. They keep the ball on the ground. They're able to pick up a big gain. Fresh set of downs. Open man. Downfield. It's Nico Collins. A pickup of 21 on that connection. First down for Houston. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Out of the gun, here's a give to Mixon. He'll be brought down. It was a nice pickup, but a penalty flag on the play. Early indications of a hold. to work with. It is first down and ten. Here's a give up the middle to Mixon. Not much room to speak of. He'll take this to the 11. Here's second and nine. Again, they'll give it to Mixon. And the defense there to meet up. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. That is caught by the tight end. 
Dalton Schultz. Touchdown, Houston. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. 7-0 is our score as this kick is sent into the end. Very short kick, taken past the 20. Terrific return. He's taken down just shy of midfield. The Steelers led up by their quarterback, Russell Wilson. Still strange to not see him in a Seattle uniform where he was for a decade, a couple of years with the Broncos. And now, Greg, the nine-time Pro Bowler, year one in Pittsburgh. Judging by our conversations with the coaches, Mike, I think it's a pretty safe bet. We won't be seeing a lot of this guy. I think what they're trying to do is just get him under center, knock off some of the rust of the offseason, and get him a couple live reps before he starts in week one. At the end of the day, you just can't replicate this style of live action in practice. So whether you're an established veteran like him or a young quarterback, these reps in the preseason are invaluable. They go play action now. Wilson, and a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He'll try again here, second and ten. On second down, Russ. He finds Austin with the grab. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. They'll run it for the first time with Najee Harris. And he's going to struggle to get back to the line. Maybe a yard. Derek Stingley Jr. off the edge. Makes the tackle. One yard game. Brings up second and nine. Out of the gun. Here's Russ. This one grabbed by Austin. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Boswell adds the extra point. And the Steelers come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. Seven, seven as they kick it off. A return now from the four. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. Here's first and ten. He'll begin on the ground, and here's Mixon. And he'll get nothing there. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind us down to the end of this first quarter of play. the Florida Gator, Damian Pierce. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in. He's going to try to pick up the first down with his own read. Great work there defensively, Mike. You could tell they were onto that one from the start. They were able to hold him to a short gain on the keeper and force the fourth down. Oh, not the greatest punt there. This is going to hit and go out of bounds. The Steelers' offense ready for their second possession. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive. First and ten. Oh, big hole left side. And he will go all the way. Touchdown, Steelers. Boswell now for the extra point. And this one is blocked.
The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. From the six, here comes a return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Texans' offense make their way out to take over once more. The deficit, six points. A touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. Open man downfield is Brown. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. First time they've looked his way tonight. Good time to do it. It's a first down. Now off the bootleg, he'll look to throw here. Catch me. That's Woods. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Here's a give to Pierce. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. Mills now. To the goal line and in. Revan Jordan. Touchdown, Texans. Bear Bear to add the extra point. It's up and through. And the Texans move out in front by a point. It's 14 to 13. And so after the touchdown, here's Bear Bear to kick it off. Short kick taken just inside the 20. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Steelers' offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. First carry for one of the most versatile players in the league, Cordero Patterson. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. They go play action with field. Oh, no chance there. Under a heavy rush, he goes down. It's a loss of eight. Brings up second and 18 at the 41-yard line. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Don't jump, ready? Up. From the shotgun, it's Fields. That's to the former Ram and Falcon, Van Jefferson. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. Here we go. Right here. Fields from the gun on. That is caught by Washington. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone inside the 20-yard line. First half. Fields. He'll get this over the middle to Jefferson. And he will get into the end zone. Van Jefferson. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Boswell adds the extra point. And the Steelers will open up a six-point lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Now return, coming from the seven. Now an opening past the 30. The Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Mills to throw. Escaping the danger, throwing and completing. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. Big start to this drive with a gain of 26. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Back to throw, Mills. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. There's a fine line between trusting your arm 
and having a little bit too much faith in Rome, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. That's caught. It's Damian Pierce. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good game, brings up third down. Here's a third down and four. Throwing is Mills. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. Now Mills. He'll look middle and he's got his man complete. And he's going to have a Texans first down. They'll have it by a lot. It turns out to be a big game on fourth down. To throw is Mills. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. It went for all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. Now here comes the screen to Pierce. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Here's Mills. And this ball incomplete on third down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. He's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. There's just no excuse for this one, Mike. At this level, from that distance, that's a kick you just have to have. A first down throw for Fields. He finds Scott Miller. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. The throw taken in, and they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. One final throw before the break. This one complete to Washington. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. All right, Mike, thanks very much. Back to you two in just a moment. The preseason is upon us as these two teams get things rolling. They'll have two more games after this to get ready before week one comes our way. It'll be here before you know it. It was a strong first half for Steelers quarterback Justin Fields. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. We saw a couple of high octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see if we come out with a hot hand in this second half. About to get started. Hmm. Terrific return. He's taken down just shy of midfield. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they'll try to keep it going. And he's going to take this all the way home for Daryl Patterson. Touchdown, Steelers. And this time, he'll be stopped short of the goal line, maybe a little winded after that long touchdown run. In any event, the try for two fans. This one taken at the seven. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Texans offense trotting back out for their first involvement of the second half. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. And 
they're going to bring him down. But there is a penalty marker on the field. start this one on the ground with Pierce. And a good run. He'll take it forward for six yards on first down. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. They'll stay on the ground with Pierce. And that's good run support on the edge. Nice tackle out wide. It'll hold him to a game of two. Look to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, the biggest issue is why they find themselves drowning in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? He's going to have a Texans first down. They convert in style. Huge play on fourth and long. On the carry, it's Pierce. Who managed to get two, maybe three on that carry. DeMonte Casey in on the tackle. Second and seven. He'll drop to throw. into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. A run out of the gun with Pierce. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Once again, it's Pierce. That was some good downhill running to get him about six yards and set up a much more manageable third down. Back to throw. This one caught at the four. And they're going to have enough to convert here. And it sets up first and goal. First and goal. Here's Pierce. And he's going to be stopped just short of the goal line. Couldn't reach that ball across. Setting up second and goal. Second and goal. On play action, he'll set up the throw. And he's not going to be able to get away. Might lose a yard. They've got him back at the two. And that's a big time play. It felt like they really needed it, Mike. That was a drive where the offense seemed to be in complete control. And he's in. Damian Pierce. Touchdown, Houston. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense, let them build on that previous drive, because they've still got some work to do. And so after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. Very short kick. They can pass the 20. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. Steelers offense about ready to take over once more. The lead is five as they're going to start with this first down. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Second and 11. So, three quarters now in the books. EA Sports back for more from the NFL preseason after this.
Now a second down throw for Fields. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. He'll get about six before he's taken down. It's a gain of six. Brings up third and six. Working out of the gun, it's Fields. And that is incomplete. When you get the ball in this situation, what you're looking to do is not only end the drive with a touchdown to put the game away, but you'd love to chew up some clock. So with that incomplete pass now likely putting an end to this series, that's a big opportunity for them to try to close this game out. The Texans offense ready to see what they can do. The deficit is five, so they'll try to put a drive together here. and They'll begin it with first and ten. He'll run. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Here's a second and three fourth cover. They'll keep it on the ground. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. But lose a couple of yards on that one. You have to wonder if next time does the play caller give his quarterback some options to check out of this play. It was clear before the ball was snapped. This was not a great look for that play call, and you can see the end result. He'll get this one complete to Brown. That pass play good for 22. It's good for a Texans first down. They'll stick to the ground. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. They'll come to the line now on second and two. They'll run here. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. They'll get 19 out of that play. It's good for a Texans first down. handoff this is Pierce and a nice run there he'll be stopped just time of first down a pickup of nine an enviable spot to operate from here's second in inches they hand it off to Pierce and the Texans are gonna have a first and goal coming up they try to finish off this drive with six points the story of this drive has just been their ability to sustain and get fresh sets of down. Now, in this case, after picking up that big gain on the ground, they find themselves first and goal. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Damian Pierce, touchdown Texans. He had the touchdown catch earlier. This time, he takes it in on the ground. So now, an extra point really doesn't help that much. We'll try to go for two and make the difference three. That'll be caught, and he will get into the end zone. The conversion is good, and the lead is up to three here in the fourth quarter. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now, heading back onto the field. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Plenty of time. All three timeouts left. It's first and ten. Pruitt with the catch. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Here's first and 10. He'll get that one to Patterson complete. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. Now, first and goal. Now, p -Rod. And he's going the wrong way. Dropped back at the 7. 
field goal only ties it. When you find yourself this close, you're thinking six. Let's take the lead. And now after that first down loss, it really changes the approach now on second and third. You have to at least come away with points. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. Oh, the pressure too much. He goes down. I don't envy the decision that this head coach has ahead of him. This is why you get paid the big bucks. Do you play it safe and kick the field goal and try to extend the game? I think if I'm him, down here inside the five-yard line, fourth and goal, I can win this thing in regulation. I'm keeping this ball in the hands of my offense, and I'm going for the win. And that's just a big-time kick right there. I mean, think about all the things running through this kicker's head. He knows if he misses it, this game's over. But he's cool. He's calm. He steps up, takes a deep breath, and he knocks it through to extend this game. Here's first down. They'll drop to throw. That ball flutters to the ground. It's incomplete. But fortunate there wasn't a defender right there in the area. Could have been a turnover. Instead, it brings up second down. now now a deep ball looking for Brown that is incomplete so the task gets more difficult time for maybe two plays that's it the game is there for the taking they control their own destiny but this brings up a really big third down here but remember they don't have to force it and push the ball past the sticks even if they come up short they still have fourth down in their back pocket to try to extend this drive and see if they can pull out the win here late. John Nessie was the intended target. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by him, there is a lot of space open underneath. So, four quarters, not enough to find a winner. Both teams plenty to chew on before the regular season gets going. But for now, thankfully, with the rule implemented back in 2021, the game ends here. No overtime in the preseason, so this game will end as a tie. And that'll do it. For my partner, Greg Oltz, for our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Pittsburgh.